Thanks, Bob. Aaron, another tough one last night. Why do you think this team has not been able to get over the hump? Well, I mean, obviously for a while, you know, we're struggling to, you know, consistently score runs. Uh, the good news is on the offensive front, you know, I feel like, you know, we're starting to, as a group, have a lot more uh, tough at bats, um, kind of finding find a little little bit of a groove offensively, making it difficult on the pitchers. Um, and we got to continue that, um, you know, but obviously last night being up against it early like that, uh, love the way the guys fought back and competed, continued to grind, made some big plays to be back in that game, but ultimately couldn't finish it out. And, uh, you know, that's what we've, we've got to be able to do. We got to find a way, uh, and it's going to take every aspect of the game, obviously. Runs obviously the biggest indicator of the offense, but what do you look for within and at bat that tells you these guys are moving in the right direction? I, I, I think just making really good swing decisions um, when we do get a mistake, um, driving it. Um, and I feel like that's been better. Um, and I just feel like up and down the consistency of at bats has really started to improve, really going to the back end of the of the Boston series. Um, you know, I feel like even we've we've had opportunities to even score more runs. I feel like guys have hit some balls right on the nose at, at some people. But look, we got a, we got a long way to go. We got to continue to have those at bats, and 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 then obviously the pitching, which has been a strength for most of the years, got to continue that. You mentioned the pitching, Domingo Herman going this afternoon. What would you like to see from him? More more of the same. Um, you know, he's having a really strong year for us. Um, you know, command of his three pitches will be critical. Uh, obviously, being able to throw those pitches in any count um, against a good offense over there. And, uh, you know, obviously with using, you know, having to use a lot of the bullpen last night, we need a strong outing for him and get a little bit of length out of him today. And, and hopefully he can go set a good tone for us. Looking back to Tyone yesterday, it seems like he's so close, has a lot of guys ahead in the count, 0-2, yeah. and then can't put him away. What does he need to do to, to turn that corner? Yeah, I, I think it's I think it's just really, you know, analyzing some of his some of the attack plans there with two strikes, um, you know, expanding some things, um, some versatility out there and what he's able to do. Um, I thought Philly, even though, you know, it's not like they knocked them all over the yard, but they were able to spoil pitches and ultimately when they got a pitch that they could handle enough, were able to do some things against them. So I think it's just, especially with two strikes, maybe expanding some of his repertoire, you know, to get some swings out of the strike zone, especially with some secondary, but just, uh, maybe being a little more versatile in some spots on the mound uh, uh, with all of his stuff. Unfortunately, it seems like injuries have again been a theme with this team. No Aaron Judge in the lineup this afternoon. You mentioned that he's suffering from some back spasms. How long do you think that will keep him out and how did that all come to fruition? Yeah, hopefully not long. Um, you know, started yesterday uh, when he got up, got treatment all day, was able to get through the game, but you know, was, wasn't really getting his A swing off a lot um, and then woke up this morning still pretty sore so with the off day tomorrow hopefully get a lot of a treatment today um, potentially be an option late in this game but hopefully something that's just a just a, a you know a day-to-day -day thing how nervous are you waiting for that Luis Severino news and that MRI to come back yeah I mean you know yeah uh, you know obviously he'll, he'll get that done this afternoon and we'll see what we have um, you know just obviously know how hard Sevy's work know what kind of condition he's in right now to put himself in a position to to get back with us so to have a little bit of a setback last night you know hopefully we get decent news on it today and it's not something that sides li lines him too long but you know right now just you know wish hoping the best for Sevy. Shifting gears a little bit I know Philadelphia is a place that you hold near and dear to your heart spent a lot of time here growing up what type of memories come back when you're in Philadelphia uh, so many you know I got childhood friends here um, people I know around the ballpark you know vendors that are still here that were here in the 70s um, that I got to see you know the peanut lady that we grow grew up with uh, in the 70s um, it's just uh, a special place they have a big big uh, World Series from 1980 banner outside our clubhouse with the with the uh, fl with the World Series parade and I'm in it as a seven year old and stuff so um, yeah this is a, a lot of great memories for us growing up. Do you remember that parade and how excited you were back then? Uh, uh, yeah I mean even being seven absolutely um, you know 
that that world championship and and getting to be a part of it with that group of you know my dad and that group of players all mostly lived in the area it was a very close-knit team well i know you're a busy man and you have a lot to do before the game starts thank you so much for the time all right meredith